chat. Happy... I almost said happy Friday. Happy Monday. I wish it was Friday. Happy Monday. I hope everyone is having an absolutely wonderful day. Let's see, let's see. Let me say hi to everyone. Also, I changed my microphone settings yesterday a little bit. So, um... Let me know if it sounds okay. Let me know if it ever sounds kind of wonky. So, uh, so I can go look through the VOD again uh, during those times and try to fix it. <laughs> uh, but let's see, let's see. Welcome in Zang! Congrats on first today! Welcome in Hug! Welcome in Time Worm! Welcome in Tranquil! Welcome in Shadow Prince! Let's see, let's see. Welcome in Brinley! Ooh, steak. Steak sounds good. <laughs> Welcome in Jomo! Welcome in Elux and uh, let's see. Uh, welcome in Destiny! Hello, hello! Happy not Friday, Griffin. Guess what? Today's not Friday? Griffin, this is me when I hear your lovely voice. No. My voice? Awful. I I have trouble listening to, to my own bots. It's awful. Oh! Two ah. years. Get loved, nerd. Oh, thank you so much, Hug, for two whole years! Thank you, thank you! You know what time it is now. Also, hello, Sir Mars! Welcome, welcome, and let me... Let me say it, uh, double check that I said hi to everyone. Alright, I am caught up. Also, welcome, Jose! Thank you, I never get first. Heck yeah! Let's go! I never, I never get first in a lot of streams, too. So whenever I get it, I'm like, heck yeah! But, uh, happy sub day to you! <laughs> Happy sub day to you! Happy sub day, dear hug! Happy sub day to you! <laughs> thank you so much for two whole years! Thank you, thank you! I appreciate it! How could you say your, that your voice is beautiful? Um... Uh, uh, uh. You ever listen to your own voice? Have you ever listened to your own voice? It's like a very common thing. That whenever you listen to your own voice, you usually dislike it because it doesn't sound the same to, to you. Like, what you hear and what other people hear is different. Because you're hearing from inside your head, whereas other people are, are hearing with their ears, not inside their head. So your voice sounds different. So, I don't know. I listen to my VODs sometimes when, when I have to. And I'm like, man, is that my voice? How does chat even listen to me? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> like, oh my goodness, I sound like I'm stuffed up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but I think I, I'm glad that you guys like it. Also, welcome to next two. Uh, good to see you. Usually, like, so on mobile and mobile's delayed compared to PC. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Yeah. It's even harder with on mobile, yeah. Let's see... And with them, your voice is calm and fine. I mean... Uh... Also, welcome to let me know! Hello, hello! We listen like this? Oh my goodness. Also, I like how I sound IRL. It's weird, see, exactly! Exactly! Also, thank you for that, Pats! And when I hear my voice, I sound like 15 years younger. Sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like my voice. I, I'm. I'm always like jump scared. I'm like, what? This is my voice. It's just like, ah, uh, uh, no. How how to voice change? I I googled that. How to change voice the other day? I was like, hmm. I don't know if I can do this. And then everything I saw was very complicated. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> I can't even do this. I'm not gonna do this. This is too much work. I just will never listen to my bobs again. <laughs> oh, thank you for that, Pets. Exactly, you don't like your voice because your brain's playing tricks on you, which means it isn't because it's... It isn't because it's bad. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. As long as you guys like it. <laughs> but, um, yes, today is Monday, not Friday. Like, my brain wants me to believe. And... It's Digimon Day, uh, uh, I forgot what we needed to go do. I forgot what we needed to go do. Uh, something about going to fight the, the AOA. I think we had to go to Asuka City and fight the Game Master? I have no idea. But, 
Oh my goodness, Slavina, what the heck? <laughs> Let's see. To listen to your voice, do you think you can do impressions with it? Impressions? Uh, no. <laughs> I I can't really do impressions. I I don't think I can. Though, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people that don't know me, always ask if I am. What is their name? Uh, if I am Dunky's wife. Whoever Dunky is, I apparently sound like his wife. Uh, I don't even know who Dunky is, but I get, I get, uh, what's the word? Accused? Uh, accused maybe isn't the right word, but accused of that a lot. It's odd. It's odd. Hey. Uh, my logic makes sense. You cannot deny it. Hmm. All right, Slavina. Okay, okay. I, Griffin underscore VT, love my own voice. And that was completely, completely forced. I, help, I'm blinking, I'm blinking, I need help. Chad is making me say things that I don't believe. They're, they're making me say lies and slander. <laughs> Yay, Digimon Days, heck yeah! Uh, confused, confused with, yes, thank you. Confused with, mistaken, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, my my voice gets mistaken and confused with Donkey's wife. So anytime I meet someone, especially especially like years ago when I was first on like first getting into Twitch and Discord, it was like, "Yo, are you Donkey's wife?" I'm just like, "Who? Who is that? I I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand." <laughs> Did you garden today? Uh, kind of, sorta. Uh, I've been kind of ha been having to like deal with my plants a little bit more lately because my pineapple plant is dying, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. <laughs> it's making me sad. Hopefully, it doesn't. It doesn't die. Hopefully, it comes back soon. Raccoon? Where? Where? Where's a raccoon? I don't see a raccoon anywhere. <laughs> Hello, Psychus. Welcome, welcome, and good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. You? No. Me, Fox. Me, Fox. No raccoon. She has a soft, cute voice, but I wouldn't say you sound exactly the same. Are pineapples usually tree like, but like bush sized trees? Um, I wouldn't really say so. They're very. Pointy, very pointy. Uh, ooh, I I don't know exactly how to describe them. They're like very. Imagine like a a really big succulent or like a really big aloe vera plant. You know, they're very pointy. They don't they don't have like pricklies or anything. You can't like really stab yourself on their leaves, but they are very pointy leaves. The very firm, pointy leaves, a lot like uh, aloe vera, I would say. Very big, uh, though they are small enough to be like house plants as well. But pineapple plants usually also take a whole lot of sunlight. But I've been putting my my plant outside a lot, so they're supposedly supposed to need like six to eight hours of sunlight uh, a day, and not a whole lot of watering. I've been doing that and it's still been dying, so I, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And the the issue is that a lot of the things, like the, the leaves are turning yellow and dying. And there's like so many things that that could be. I could be giving it too much water or not enough water, or I could be giving it too much sun or not enough sun. And I just, I need, I need a clear indicator. Like I need a sign that says, hey, water me. Or hey, take me out of the sun, I'm dying. I... I don't understand. Red panda equals firefox, what? Also, welcome in Leon! Hello, hello, hope you're having a wonderful day. Also, welcome in Henrik! Hope you're having a wonderful day as well. Getting sleepy, time to drink Griffin for energy? No. No. Cannot sip. Cannot drink. She needs a pineapple doctor? I do need a pineapple doctor. I do. I do. It's gonna die eventually. <laughs> if I don't figure it out. 
Uh, plant issues? Oh no, ask a plant expert? Yeah, I might need to- I might need to consult the- the wonderful bunny. I might need to ask Dr. Bunny her- her professional opinion. The last garden was doomed because it needs sunlight, but it was so hot all the time. Oh yeah, it's so hot. It's been in like the 90s, like the mid 90s lately, and so I've been- I've been like, maybe my pineapple plant is just- oh, the water is evaporating? Maybe- maybe the water's evaporating, so I've been trying to water it more lately? Um... And... Seeing how that goes. So I figure maybe- maybe it's not getting enough water because the heat outside is just evaporating the water. I don't know. Uh, let's see. For watering plants, my rule of thumb is that you water the soil until it's moist and then leave it alone. Oh. Bunny's an expert? Bunny! Bunny grows so many plants, like so many plants, like I, so many plants, like, oh my god, so many plants, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> doctor, what? A uh, plant doctor, plant doctor, talking about my, my, uh, dying pineapple plant. <laughs> Thought it was Pillar Man? What is Pillar Man? Mid-90s, I'd be dying too, just like the plant. Oh no, I woke up, I was dwenched. 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 Ah. Ah. Yes, dwenched. Drenched in sweat. Oh my goodness. That- that sounds awful. <laughs> Hello, Howling! Welcome in, good to see you! You don't know Pillar Man? No, I don't know Pillar Man. Also, if the roots are exposed, you want to cover that with some leaves or mulch because the roots are designed for water exchange. So if they dry out, it's really bad. Uh, I don't think the roots are exposed. I don't think so. Bunny is an expert plantologist, that's why she wears gloves when she does hand cam streams to hide the fact she has green thumbs, oh my goodness. I thought they're, uh... I thought they had a drinky left, so whenever you're in a bad mood, you have a good Dr. Pineapple, oh my goodness. That, that does sound like a, a very interesting drink name. I, someone out there has a drink named that, 100%. Uh, by the way, love your avatar, it's so adorable. Ah, oh, thank you so much, also, also welcome in Cozy. Hello, hello, happy Monday. We're having a wonderful day. Well, let me... Let me see, let me... I Bunny said it, like, a couple days ago in her Discord. Let me try to find it. It should be, like, pretty pretty close. Let's see, she said... Uh, right now, she is growing potatoes, sweet potatoes, bush beans, cucumbers, red and green cabbage, squash, carrots, Lots of tomatoes, strawberry plants, basil, sage, cilantro, rosemary, marigolds, lavender, asparagus, onion, mint, chives, and three grapevines. And she has some raspberry bushes. And then she's also growing uh, sun impatience, petunias, tea roses, begonias, uh, portulaca, uh, and etc. And her... I don't know how to pronounce this one. Na na nasturtiums? Nasturtiums? That just started sprouting last week. So Bunny has like one of the greenest thumbs. Oh my goodness. Uh, so many things. She yeah, she has a whole garden. It's crazy. Pillar Man I, I was a meme. Oh, I've I don't think I've ever heard it. Or if I heard it, I didn't know what it was. I also love the avatar if it's perfectly the comfy coming ASMR voice. Oh, thank you so much, Enrique. That makes me wonder if there's a humanoid one since the profile picture. Yes! Uh, I, I do have a 3D model, which is uh, what my a lot of my profile pictures are based off of. But I will be getting a uh, Life 2D model. It should be getting rigged soon. So uh, here soon you'll be seeing a lot of my uh, humanoid form. Though this one, this one won't be going away. You guys can still see it with the Transformer Deem on, on Twitch. So, this one isn't going away, but you will get to see more more humanoid Griffin whenever I I debut with my new model. I'm so excited. Uh, how's our beautiful vlogs doing today? Oh, oh, I can't take the compliments. I'm doing good. I feel like a mess today. How do you remember it all? Wait, how, how do you remember what, like, all the plants I listed off or because I, I just read from a discord message but how does bunny do it all I have no idea she's she's crazy she's crazy she can smell with her feet it's a small family with all that food heck yeah she can heck yeah she can it's crazy 
She has to wake up early and take care of all her plants. She's like, oh my goodness. I want to be like Bunny when I grow up. <laughs> Bunny doesn't need a sidekick. She's already a farmer. Yeah, she she has a whole garden. You heard all the plants that I said she grows. And that's just right now, chat. And then she also does art. She does art commissions. She streams. She's, oh my goodness. She's, she's a busy bunny. I'd love to see a new griffin. Heck yeah. Also, welcome in. Daddy dies a lot. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the headpats. We're having a wonderful day. Uh, maybe with arms you can punch chat for trying to drink you. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I can. Heck yeah. <laughs> I like to tease funny. <laughs> I, I like to tease bunny a little bit too. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> She's uh... The way she reacts is pretty funny. <laughs> okay, chat. Uh, let's... It's been like 20 minutes. Let's go to the game. Bunny has an energy level I almost never get to in a good way. I like it. Same! Same, 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 same. Bunny's just so amazing. We love the bunny here. I'm gonna shout her out. Alright, let's go to the game chat. Oh, wait. I'm still big! I'm sorry, I'm not, uh, I'm not firing on all cylinders, as one might say, today. Alright, so I think we... We're leaving. I think we're leaving here. I think we're going to Asuka City, we're gonna go to the base? The, the... The admin building, yeah, the admin building. That's where we were gonna go, I think. And then... Or was it... Or were we going to the... Were... Hmm... I... I forgot where we need to go, chat. I forgot if we need to go... To the... Town, or if we need to go to the Asuka City. Cause if we go to Asuka City and it was just a town... That's a really far walk. Why can't we have a big griffin taking up half the screen? Oh... Uh... I think some people would want to see the game. <laughs> Hello, Griffo. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Heck yeah. Firing all cylinders, no, leave them alone to their gainful employment. <laughs> Hello, Vogan. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Fine, I won't fire the cylinders. <laughs> Maybe Griffin can be part of the Digimon game as a kaiju? What's a kaiju? Uh... Hello, Z Fangs! Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you! Oh, like Godzilla. Oh, okay. Big monster. Oh. And watch out. I should probably maybe Google where I need to go so we don't waste time. Uh, let's see. Walk through to hmm. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Where the heck are we going? Not there. Let's see. We did Noise Desert. We did Byako City. Alright. One second shot. Do, do, do. Headed to Bullet Valley. We did Bullet Valley. We did the factory. I'm almost there, chat. After the badly say goodbyes, it's back to the sewer. Next stop, Asuka City. Alright. We need to go to Asuka City, chat. 
Confirmed. All right. Sorry about that. Didn't want to make a useless walk. Though it seems I'm going to anyway. I don't remember the way out. <laughs> I don't remember the way out. Which way? This way. Okay, there we go. I found it. Or... Ooh. Maybe not? Oh my goodness. I hate, I hate this place shot so much. So, so much. So many winding paths that are dead ends. Can you believe this is the last week of June, chat? That's crazy. I can't believe it. It feels like a couple days ago it was... It was the last week of May. So crazy. Time is going way too fast. Where the heck is this uh, exit? Is it this way? It is this way. Okay, there we go. How would you say that with no warning? Hello, Zapparo. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, I mean, how could time just keep going on without a warning? That's the real problem here. <laughs> also, welcome in today. Good to see you. Hope you're having a... Hope you're having a wonderful day. I love this game. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Welcome in, Neon. Hope you're having a wonderful day also. Half the year is gone. What is life? Ugh. I don't know. What is life, chat? I think that... Oh. I wasn't expecting into a fight there. Hello, Brew. Welcome in. Hello, hello. I think that life is... I think... That. Ooh, one hit. Um, sorry, I'm trying to pull all of my brain cells together for to say something really wise. Uh, <laughs> I think that life is treating yourself to yummy things and spending time with. People that you care about. Yes, that is life. You heard it here first, chat. <laughs> so, Mario Mons VGM is banger. Yes, I really like the underwater audio, it's very nice. Life is sleeping, cute and cute girls. Griffin, probably? Heck yeah. Eat snacks and hang out, got it? Oh my goodness, chat. So, this weekend, this weekend, Hudo took me on a date. We went and got massages, and then we went and had a lunch, and we got like, uh, we decided just to go to this buffet, like Chinese buffet place, because it was close by, and I got the, you know, they gave you the fortune cookie. Whenever you're about to leave. My fortune cookie had two fortunes in it, chat. Oh! Hi, Owen! Thank you so much for the reason. Thank you, thank you. Griffuccino. You know, two whole years, you know what that means. Happy sub day to you. Happy sub day to you. Happy sub day, dear heart. Happy sub day to you. <laughs> thank you so much, Han. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I'm so shocked Texas to speech actually said the Griffuccino right. <laughs> We're sub day twins. Heck yeah, hug and hop. Both got two years today. Let's go. <laughs> what a silly goose you are. Yeah, I started uh I started doing that. <laughs> started saying happy sub day to anyone that gets uh a collective year for for subs. I thought it was kind of cute. You know how whenever it's your birthday, cafes sing you happy birthday. It's like that. <laughs> oh, that go that way, yeah. I was gonna say something. Oh right, right. I was telling you about my fortune cookie this weekend, chat. So, uh, like I was saying, I got a 
We we went to a buffet place, a Chinese buffet place, and I, we got fortune cookies. And my fortune cookie had two fortunes in it, and the fortunes were basically um, treasure your friends and watch YouTube. Those were my fortunes. So I think I think I need to watch YouTube with my friends this week. Yes. <laughs> I think I think that will make my week better. I need to watch YouTube with my friends. The fortune cookie said so. <laughs> what a wonderful tradition! Heck yeah! Also, oh, Minzo, good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Also, I said it a little while ago, uh, but I also changed my mic settings a little bit uh, yesterday evening. So if it sounds good. Let me know if there's any... If there's any, like, odd sounds to my audio. Like, it gets really weirdly quiet or, like, warbles or, or anything like that. Like, I sound underwater or anything like that. Let me know so that way I can uh, tag it on the VOD so I can go back and try to fix it. Because for some reason, I try to recreate it off-stream, and it doesn't do it off-stream. So I just kind of messed with some numbers and... Hoped for the best. <laughs> Hello, I'm under the water, please help me. Honestly, yes. I can't swim. <laughs> I can't swim, so yes, I am underwater, please help. <laughs> also, new day, thank you so much for the 30 stream watch streak, thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh wait, you were here a little, a few minutes ago, yes. <laughs> I'm just so- I'm just so used to saying, hope you're having a good day, oh my goodness. It just flows out. 1700 damage? Oh my goodness, chat. Blaze, thank you so much for the 30 stream watch streak, I appreciate it. It's a whole month. Technically, that's like... Three whole months, at least. Because I don't stream every day, that's crazy. Normal spec chat. We're almost to Asuka City! Hopefully I didn't need to do any grinding. It would suck if we got stuck on a boss again. Oh! I thought we couldn't get- I thought we couldn't get in a fight on- on the sidewalk, what the heck? Hello Aira and welcome in, welcome in, good to see you! Hope you're having a good day. Oh, chat, I also learned a lesson this weekend. If you go to get a massage... ...and the massage is a little too rough, tell them. Don't tough it out like I did. <laughs> Don't tough it out like I did. <laughs> I... I was getting the massage and I was like, man, this hurts. This hurts. Oh, we can't get in. And... Don't eat gassy food beforehand. I was told that you shouldn't really eat beforehand, just in general. But yes, don't do not do that either. <laughs> um... Oh hey, we can do this. Okay, we'll go in here. But yeah, if, if it hurts, like actually hurts, don't tough it out. <laughs> Tell them to go easier. Because uh, my back hurts very bad now. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, hey! Present! Got iron gloves, heck yeah! Punch people out now. I, I am legitimately worse for wear now than I was before the massage, so chat. If you ever get a massage, and it's too hard, you tell them, easy, easier, please. Don't tough it out. <laughs> Very bad. Very bad. <laughs> but I had a good weekend, chat. It was very nice. Very comfy. Very... Very relaxing. I also tried an oyster this weekend. Uh, 
I think I've had like maybe fried oysters before, but I don't quite recall. But I had a raw oyster and it was gross. It was gross. I didn't like the texture of it. I remember talking with you guys once. I don't remember what the conversation was, but I remember being asked if I ever had an oyster before. And so I saw the oysters and I was like, you know what? I want to try this. I've never had this before and I regretted it. I did not like it. I did not like it at all. It was... the texture was just bad. Awful. Gross. Disgusting. The flavor was okay, I guess. I don't think I want to eat oysters again, though. Heck yeah! 25! Learned tech mega protection. Oh, okay. That seems... that seems helpful. Hmm. Alright, I'm sure we go this way. There wasn't anywhere else to go on that other... other area. Asuka sewers! Alright. Yeah, th this is where we need to go. Let me save it really quick, chat, just in case. Okay. Oh! That's not good trying to super chew food and not liking it. Kind of stuck at that point. Yeah. I I was chewing it and I was just like, mm, mm, I don't like this. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna swallow it, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> But now I know not to get raw oysters. I think it's it's nice to try things, even if you're pretty sure that you won't like them. I mean, heck, Chad, I'm open to eating strawberries to a point. <laughs> and I don't like them. I've always had a, a mentality of you shouldn't always eat only the things you like. You should sometimes try to eat the things that you may not like because they may still give you like important vitamins and things. And sometimes you may find yourself in a position where you don't have the option to eat something that you do like. Oh. Fancy room right here. Oh. Ooh. And you might actually find that uh, you like something that you used to not like. Or you found something that you've never had before that you like. Which that's always a good feeling. Cyclone Mon always looks so weird to me, chat. So very weird. Have you ever had a food you really hate tastes good later in life? Uh, I wouldn't really say I hate many things. The closest thing I can think of is mustard. Uh, I wouldn't really say I hate it, but I've had this uh, one fast food place called Crystals. They make like little sliders. I've had that place before and I used to really not like them. Uh, they had a very strong like mustard and onion taste to them because they had a lot of mustard and onion on them. But then recently, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna ask them to do my my sliders different because there were a lot of people in line, and I I didn't I didn't want to be extra and be like annoying on top of them being understaffed. So I was just like, yeah, I just I just want them normal. And I tried them, and they would actually taste pretty good. So kind of. I think the only thing that I can say that I really hate 
is cilantro. And that's because it tastes like cleaning supplies to me. I have that gene that makes it taste bad to me. But aside from that, I, I wouldn't really use the word hate for really any foods. I mean, there's a lot of foods that I dislike, but I, I don't know. I just, uh, hmm. Does that make sense, chat? Oh, hey, it's the little guy. Datamon. Buzz, who are you? How do you know what cleaning supply tastes like? Uh, not so much the taste, but like the smell. I imagine they taste about the what they smell like. So I just kind of assume. Yo, you came all the way here to battle me? I'm good to go anytime. Let's whoa, with let's battle. I didn't. Uh, babe, you can't copy me. You have to come up with your own line. Uh, okay. What? Uh, okay. Let's get it on. All right. Didn't know we were gonna fight the the little guy. Oh, he's he's a boss chat. Oh god. Uh, uh increase allies' defense power. But yeah, like, you know what? You know what bleach smells like? That's what cilantro tastes like to me. It's very bad. Very bad. That's, like, foods that I say I, like, actually hate, I would not be open to eating, like, at all. No matter how much money I was given, no matter, no matter what was in it for me, I, I would not. I would not. I, I tolerate many things, but foods that make me actually sick, I, I would not eat. Let's see... doesn't really have any good... Raising fire, I guess? Or actually, let's just attack. Yeah, let's just attack. See how much damage that does. 270? Okay. We need to figure out if he's strong against physicals or against... Oh, he got to attack twice, so we need to heal this turn. But we need to figure out if he's strong against physicals or against, um, techniques. Oh, not that one. We need items. Supercharge! Go! Full HP! Oh, he can heal too. Dang it. Alright, so... Rising Fire? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage. I don't think he can outheal this chat. <laughs> oh, maybe if he keeps casting it. Looks like machines are weak to being melted. Indeed. Indeed. Do it again. Or maybe I just got a, a good crit. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I, I got a crit. We got lucky. That's okay, though. We'll still kill him. He's definitely easier than Zanbumon, that's for sure. Oh my... How many times is he gonna be allowed to heal? This is getting out of hand. Oh, he blocked two of them? Oh my goodness.
<laughs> Holy heck, he's he has like three moves in a row now? How fast is this guy? What the heck? We need another crit soon shot. This guy is getting faster. Okay, we got two hits. Come on. Uh, no more auto... Wait, no more auto recover and then he used auto recover? What? What? I don't understand. I guess one of them ran out. Oh, got hit by all three. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we got him, chat. Heck yeah. Let's go. His pass auto recover and out so he recast it. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the head pads. Welcome in, Oculus. Good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Ooh, recover crest. Ooh. That sounds nice. I need to look at that. You're pretty good if you can win against me. Here's your reward. It's rusty gloves. It's an ultra rare item, so cherish it. Huh? Uh, okay. I'll keep it. Thanks. Got rusty gloves? Great, I think. There's secrets to old armor and weapons in the digital world. Find armor... Find armor digivolved Digimon that know these secrets. Oh, okay. I'll find those armor digivolved Digimon. Or maybe I won't. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> well, I should probably go to items. Armor? Well, it's not in here. Accessories? HP is healed slowly. Evade a little better. Ooh. Ooh. Those would be good. Important items? Nope. Weapons? Ah, oh, there it is. Rusty glove. I have that and a rusty katana. And a rusty rifle. Hmm. All right, so you want to go inside Suka City? If I open the basement gate, you can go in. Do you have a D do you have a DO staff pass? You don't. I can't take commands from non-personnel. Okay, so we need to get a staff pass to get him to open the basement. Get them with the tetanus attack. Oh my goodness. Hit them with the real virus attack. All right, so if we don't have a staff pass, how do we get in? I hate Raramon so much. He's like one of my least favorite Digimon, I would say. That I have seen. There, there's probably a ton that I haven't seen. That I may dislike, but Raramon? Very low. I think the only Digimon I would say that classifies lower than him is Etemon. He's not very high in my book at all. I would prefer uh, Sukumon or Numemon ahead of Raremon. I don't know why, just something about his design just makes me really not like him. Oh, Aida! Aida! Welcome in, welcome in! How was your stream? I was lurking. How was your stream? I hope you had a good stream! I hope Fallout went well. I like watching your Fallout streams. Oh, thank you for the shout out mods. Thank you, thank you. It was fun. Good to hear. Hello, hello. 
If you need to go get some rest, go get some food, anything like that, you don't. Uh, please feel free, of course, as always. Thank you again so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. We're playing some more Digimon today. We're trying to break into the city. But we we need a we need a door pass. Oh, Luna! Hi! I was also lurking in your stream. Hi! How was your stream too? Oh my goodness. <laughs> How is Elden Ring? Hello, hello! Uh, Smurgy, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome in, everyone. It's hard. Oh, yeah, I've heard that new DLC is extremely hard. I've heard it's, it's so rough. People are, like, review bombing it or something for being too hard. It's crazy. Welcome in, Dark. Good to see you. Also, uh, I just said it to eat all, but also Luna, if you need to go get some food, uh, go get some rest, anything like that, please feel free, of course. And same goes to all of your raiders. Uh, if you need to go do something, please feel free. I do appreciate you leaving my stream up. Thank you so much. Review bombing, no wonder it was on mixed reviews on Steam. Yeah, people are so upset that it's really hard that uh, they're review bombing it. I saw it. I saw something say that on Twitter. Probably like Dexterto or some other uh, journalist site saying it. I I have not partaken in the the Elden Ring yet. Anyway, maybe one day. Maybe one day. But I, from the people that have played it, I've heard really good things. So I I don't think you should listen to the reviews on this one. I think people are just upset because they're bad at the game. Um, but for all of you raiders that somehow don't know me, I'm Griffin. Right now I am a Fox Chocolate or a Fox Chino, Griffichino, uh, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I play a whole bunch of retro games, comfy games, indie games, uh, just whatever I really feel like. Very, very variety here. And it's a very comfy time, very, uh, very chill, usually. Lots of fishing. Lots of fishing. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's me. Soon, I'm gonna be having a, uh, humanoid model debut. Uh, and I, I hope that I see you there. Hopefully, maybe in, like, a month or two? It's coming up. Uh, my my model should be getting rib uh, ribbed rigged this uh, upcoming month, so I'm really excited. It looks so cute, chat. I can't wait to show you. That's one of the stupidest reasons for review bombing. Review bombing is stupid. How dare a hard game be hard? Yeah, Reen, I agree. I agree, like 100%. I think that they should suck it up. They paid for the hard game. They knew the game was gonna be hard. They knew the DLC was gonna be hard. They should chill. Review bombing in general. I think that review bombing can be a good thing. Like with the Hell Divers thing. The Hell Divers thing, I would say that was a good use of review bombing. Y you need to not let uh, publishers or developers or whoever push you around if it's something that a whole community agrees on. Girl, they're even using cheesy builds for DLC and still complaining. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at the Elden Ring reviews and a lot of them were talking about PC performance issues. I didn't even hear it. I haven't heard a single thing about that either. Yeah, I haven't heard a single thing about that. All I've heard is, it's so hard. We can't even fight the bo the first boss in it. And apparently the DLC was locked behind... Um, locked behind defeating a certain boss? in the game so if you didn't do that then you have to like actually finish the game or something uh so i don't know i was fighting a boss for two hours almost killed it oh my goodness dlc definitely humbles you it's fun hello my fun welcome and good to see you hello hello hope you're having a great day i believe in you luna you can do it I never understood why anyone was complaining outside of the people living in countries without PSN. Um... 
I think that it's important to stand up to things that you think aren't right. And I think that if only the people that lived in those countries that didn't get it complained, I don't think they would have changed anything at all. Like, at all, at all, at all. I, I don't think it would have changed. Because there, there just wouldn't have been enough people. As, as people say, you need to vote with your wallet, and there were enough people that were upset about it that they were even refunding the game, and they could see, uh, the developers and publishers could see that they made a very bad mistake, and sometimes it takes extreme measures like that to show that a decision was very wrong. But I do also think that a lot of things that get review bombed uh, should not. A lot of things that, that get review bombed are just dumb. <laughs> are very dumb. And it doesn't... Uh, hmm. Wasted effort. That, that's what I would say. A lot of review bombs are usually just wasted effort and people being, being silly. But I would say like the Helldivers one was very... was a, a good thing. Despite me not even playing Helldivers, I, I do think that uh, a lot of people boycotting it and refunding it was a, a good thing. I refuse to play games or I used to play games that require me to log into Steam and another service. Simple, too many good games out there. Let's see, so many companies make you have an account with them to play their games or if people complain about that, then someone does and people start whining. I think if... I think if they started with that from the very beginning and it wasn't a later implemented thing, it would have been fine. I think it would have been fine. If you were, from the very beginning, not allowed to buy the game if you couldn't play it, or if you had to make an account uh, before you could play it and you couldn't make that account because, I think it would have been fine. I think that the way that they went about it, I think the way that they went about it that they did it later after the launch, that is what killed it. That is what killed it. I think that the reactions would have been completely different between how it happened with them implementing it later because they couldn't figure out how to do it and they needed extra time and them implementing it before the game launched. And so it would have been there at the beginning. Hello, Lumina! Welcome and welcome and good to see you! Hello, hello! Also, yes, if anyone wants to follow my Twitter, join my Discord, check out my YouTube, Twitch, or Throne. There are all my links in chat and the rest are my card. Let's see. Uh, da da da, one second, one second. Or do you make me take a few extra seconds of my life? Uh, I can agree to an extent on. Like, having to make so many accounts. At some point, you're just gonna have so many accounts you forget, and... With... The way developers are these days... There's a... Uh, Non-zero chance that your... Information could get stolen, your account could get hacked, etc. And... Personally, I don't really like making accounts for things that I may not use. Uh, so I don't know. Or if I decide that I want to try a game and I don't like it, and it's the only game of theirs that I wasn't really into, I don't know. It's just weird having my, my info sitting there. So I, I kind of get it, but I... I eh. Also, thank you for, for using the ads mods. I didn't see that. 
Uh, let's see. So many companies make... Uh, da -da. Oh, wait, I read that. I saw the complaints about Elden Ring when I got stuck at a boss. I just think that I'm missing something to make the fight easier. 90% of the time, I think I am. Same. That's exactly what I, I do too. And just in general, not even with Elden Ring. Just if... if I am absolutely losing my mind over a boss. I need- I am missing something. It's not- wait, where am I going? I need to go this way. It's not the game's fault usually, it's my fault. I am missing something. Nobody complained about EA or Rockstar? I assume that their games had it... Had it because... Or I, I assume that they didn't have any pushback because that it started with that. Cal making would be the first filter to buy or not to buy. Like Chad, I'll be honest. So one of the demos that I wanted to try during the Steam Next Fest was uh, test drive unlimited or something like that. Test unlimited drive, unlimited test drive, something like that. A uh, racing car game. And it was just a demo and they, they still made me have to make an account before I could even try the demo. And that made me really not want to try it. I, I can't give you a reason why, just like being, being forced to make an account before I could even try their demo. It's just it. Eh? The first time I ran into that, it was a little odd. I did eventually make the account, and now I get a whole bunch of emails saying, Hey, our game. Hey, our game. You should come check out our game. Hey, you should you should come pre-order our game. And now I'm like, man, I kind of wish I didn't make an account. Just try that demo. Oh, if it's a demo, that is stupid. I, I agree. I agree completely. If... If it's a full game and you need to, then yeah, but if you shouldn't be forced to make an account just to try a demo of a game. Also, Phoenix, hello, hello. Also, welcome in Hollow Kids. Thank you so much for the hydrate. Let me hydrate. I'm catching up, chat. I'm catching up. Also, welcome in Slipknot. Good to see you. I see, I, uh, I see you too. I'm catching up, chat. And I do agree, Reen. I do agree. They they did have things that stated it. But I feel like they should have just implemented it in the beginning and tried to find another way around it. Around whatever server issues that they were having. Instead of... Uh, instead of leaving out that very important feature for later, then they would have completely negated this the whole thing. And if they had server issues, they should have, like, that they couldn't have fixed with having that in there, they should have delayed the launch. That would have been far more responsible on their part. I guess the question here is then, who's the bad guy? In the Helldivers case, was it Sony for voicing the requirement? Arrowhead for pushing out the game without implementing this properly nor communicating properly? Um... I would say, uh, I would say it was whoever decided to push the game before the, uh, whatever it is was implemented. Wait, was it this way? I think, yeah, it was this way. I think that whoever decided to launch the game on time still without, uh, having the Sony account requirement is is the bad guy in that situation 100 percent buy a game because of the game yeah i actually got my info compromised to sony's psp or psn several years ago my bank caught the transactions thankfully but i don't trust them anymore i've heard uh the psn thing um get the i don't know i've i've heard a lot of people have a similar similar um experience lumina i've i yeah yeah, they don't seem too great <laughs> at, at keeping things to themselves. Well, I remember playing this. Uh, I very, I do very vaguely. I think I got to this part. I have no idea how far I got in this game. Let's 
see. Oh hey! I'm just about caught up finally. Let's go. Let's see. I've been helping my friend get home today. She's been really upset lately due to what's going on in her life, but I'm doing my best to be there for her. We chatted about it over some food too. We made some Chinese barbecue chicken wraps and wedges. That sounds really yummy. I hope she feels better soon. Thank you so much for the headpads. Hey there. Oh. Uh, just like gotcha adds no value to a game, neither does account linking, unless the account linking allows for cross save slash play. I. I don't know about that, Elix. I think that some. You may not. You may not think that it's. It does anything, but it just really depends on the infrastructure of the game behind the scenes. They could be linking that account info to your game info. So I don't I don't really know how to describe it well because I am not in the gaming field, but say they could be linking one database that has like your character information, achievements, all of that to an account that you yourself uh, have and they're calling things in the game uh, with that account or vice versa. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I can't describe it too well. I'm, I'm not in the uh, gaming developer field, but I know that is a thing that some do. So I can see that that, that could be a reason why they want you to link your account. But... Uh, eh, eh, eh. Um... All right, yes, I'm caught up finally. I'm all caught, caught up in chat. Thank you, yeah, she's feeling a bit better now. Thankfully, I'll be seeing her again on Thursday and Friday too. Oh, you're such a sweet friend. Yeah, I hope, I hope, uh, I hope things get better for her. But that's some utility I can understand, but just looking for the sake of inflating numbers for court. Yes, exactly, yes. If, if it's just for no reason other than getting more... more people to sign up for an account, then I disagree with that. But if it serves some sort of purpose, crossplay, or you need it because of their backend is using that information, something like that, then yeah, I, I think that's fair for them to, to say you need an account. But if it's just for showing how many new people um, made accounts that month or something, then yeah, no. No, no, no. Uh, huh? I think something just moved. Hey, can you see anything from there? No problems in the west. Nothing in the south. Nothing wrong here either. They're on watch. I won't be able to enter Byaku City for a while. Oh, uh, Where do we go then, chat? Uh-oh. I don't- I don't remember where to go! Oh no. Uh Hmm. I don't remember where we let got let out of that cave. Wait. going to the factory originally and telling myself I'm being silly. We need to go to the factory. There's gotta be a pass with Kale, right? Where am I supposed to go next? Is like half the game? Yes. I'm having trouble here. I'm having a lot of trouble here and I have a guide. I have a guide open and I'm still having trouble. Oh my goodness, chat. Oh my goodness, streamers being silly. Also, Mons, thank you so much for um, snoozing the, the ads. I do appreciate it. 
You'll be getting ads here in a few minutes, I think. Because it is uh, top of the hour, and then they will leave us alone for another hour, so just, just warning you, chat. I'll still probably be making my way through this silly desert. Stream too hard, started playing on auto mode. Yeah, my brain just kind of went out for a bit and uh, I, I've just been pressing pressing the, the arrow keys, not really thinking about where I need to go. <laughs> it doesn't help that the game didn't tell me where I needed to go either. Getting lost is the hardest part of this game, yeah. They don't really tell you where to go. I hate that. Just at least give me some sort of hint sometimes, please. Had to bring up a guide so I didn't waste hours trying to find where to go. getting levels chat or ground wants up there with uh, the other the other evolutions now digivolutions okay so we need to go in here we need to go in the sewer again Thankfully, we don't have to chase Numemon again this time. Go up here. Go over here. I think it was... I think it was this one. I think it was this door right here. Or maybe not? Nope. Not this one. Uh... Or stairs somewhere. Ah! I went left instead of right. Okay, right here. Yeah, right here. Just made a made a wrong turn. Oopsie. Or not? Uh uh Wrong door? Yes, wrong door. Okay, maybe we go up here. We go up here. Hey, Andromod again. Hello, hello. Oh. Frozen? Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna have to wait until the Frozen... Uh resolves itself. It's a good thing he hits really weakly. At least we'll survive it. Being frozen in a boss fight shot, we'd be dead. Oh no, frozen, you're doomed. He's killing us with paper cuts. Oh hey, we got to attack finally. We're still frozen though, I don't know how. Can load tech counter alert. I think we should switch to Mon Mon. Mon Mon's the lowest level now. We got a machine gun, heck yeah. Agumon got impatient, he did. Let's get out, Mon Mon. Agumon's level 35, Monmon's only level 30. Okay. Yeah, we go this way. 
go this way, yeah. This is the way to the sewer and the secret base and everything. I assume that's where we go. Badoop. Secret stairs, secret tunnel. Doop, doop, uh, doop, doop. Wait, what's over there? Nothing. Oh. Uh. The thing is that from soft DLCs have always been at least end game difficult and even harder. Did the people not know that? Uh, for like. The Elden Ring DLC? Is is that their developer? Uh I'm not sure. I think they're being silly. I think the people that bought the hard game should have understood that the DLC was also gonna be hard. So I don't I don't understand why they're review bombing it. Unless there's actual reason. Like, it's- it's bad or completely unplayable. Like, unplayable or... Uh, not what it was advertised to be. Like, those are valid reasons for, in my opinion, something should get review bombed. But... Just... A hard game? No. If it, if they're just having trouble beating bosses, then... Uh, no, they, they really shouldn't be review bombing it. They should just spend that time review bombing to get better at the game. Review the game based on if it's good or not, not because it's hard. Exactly, exactly. Also, also, review the game based on if it's good or not, not because... Not because if you're into it or not. If you play a game that might not be your your tastes, don't give it one stars. If it's if it's still a good game, but it just wasn't for you, then uh, don't don't review the bat review it badly. Like I didn't like Digimon Survive at all, but uh, my personal opinion, two stars. But I would never put that on a Steam review. I would say probably like four or five stars and say that uh, it was very visual novel heavy and that it was not my tastes. It was not my taste, but people that like really heavy, long visual novels with very slight gameplay elements would enjoy it. OMG, thank you. I hate review magazines for doing that with JRPGs back in the day. Oh, what? Saying things like, oh, this game sucks because we hate it? Yeah. I hate when people do that. Most people seem to be unable to separate between quality of something and their ability to enjoy it. You can hate something that's good and love something that's bad and be honest about it? Exactly. Griffin, what's wrong? I can't get into Asuka City. If I had a staff pass, maybe I could get in. A staff pass? Oink, oink! What are you trying to say, Kurt? Maybe Kurt has one. That must be it. Kurt did work here. Oh, Griffin, did something happen? Huh? Lisa, what are you doing there? As you can see, this room is a big mess. So, I was cleaning it up with Kale. Hey, Lisa, was there a staff pass laying anywhere, on? laying anywhere around? Sorry, I haven't seen it yet. It's all Kurt's fault for keeping this thing so messy. Oink, oink. What should we do? I'm sure that it's here. I know, can you go get my friends? They'll help. We'll be finished in no time. Your friends? Yes, their names are Keith and Nick. Please don't make me go get them. What? Keith and Nick? Oh, you know them, Griffin? Then it shouldn't take you that much time. Oh, and I last heard from them in South Sector. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Hmm.
<sighs> I don't like to play horror games or watch horror movies, but I'm going to say that they're bad just because I don't like being scared. Or, er, uh, I'm not going to say that they're bad just because I don't like being scared. Yes, that, that is the proper way to do that. I like this little digi digi resistance club going on. It is uh, quite something. All right, chat. We have to do a lot of walking now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sukumon wants to go home. We need to go find Nick and Keith, wherever they are. Golden poop? No, that one wasn't gold. That one was just yellow. There is a platinum one. I wouldn't be surprised if there was an actual gold one. Alright, chat, so we need to go all the way across the map again. Because for some reason, we... The time that we spend going to get her friends is to clean the room is going to outweigh the time it takes for us to run all the way there to get her friends. Just crazy. It's gonna take us like a while <laughs> to get there. We have to go all the way across the map again, chat. Like all the way across the map again. Uh oh. Come on, Digitama. I like that its attack can confuse the enemy. I didn't know that it could do that. Hey, level 60! Dang, strong egg, heck yeah. Very strong egg. I really like Digitama, Mon. They're just, a, they're just a little guy. Okay. Go. Go. Which way? Ah. I'm forgetting which way to go again. This place is confusing. Are those Nazca lines? What are Nazca lines? What is it? What is that? I've never heard of that before. drawings done on the ground that can only be seen from high up? Uh, I think so, yeah. Do people like to link to aliens? Uh, oh shoot. I think so, yeah. I don't know if they are or not, but I think I know what you're talking about. They look like those? They do kinda. They do kinda. Maybe there's a Vademon lurking around, playing silly jokes. Digimon 3 is in Peru confirmed.
Now, if only I could go the right way. Let's see, go this way. We're never gonna get out of here. We're never gonna get out of here. Where's my Digimon repellent? Come on now. Also, chat, I still haven't checked if I saved Dark Cloud yet or not from last week. I, I will probably check that tomorrow. I also remembered, I don't think we 100%ed the last village, so we need to go do that too. Or at least double check it, because we never got a uh, reward or anything for that uh, that I know of. Oh, that's a big Ogremon. Boing, boing, boing. You know, their feet look kinda, kinda similar. Jaffy was location scout for the terrain team. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, level 31, let's go. Get out of here, chat. Out of the desert. I don't like the desert. Get me out. Back up. Imagine me leaving my house. Mood. That's a big mood. <laughs> I leave my house like usually once every two weeks to go grocery shopping. And sometimes I go get the mail in front of my house. <laughs> and I put my plants outside and that's it. <laughs> So yesterday was very nice. Very nice day out. Clever, thank you so much for the sub! Oh my goodness, thank you! Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy the the emotes, enjoy no ads. Thank you so much! I leave more than I like for work and had to leave to go to the dentist today. Oh, you know, I don't understand why people hate the dentist so much. I do and I don't. I hate the dentist because... Um, it feels like some of them, much like doctors, try to give me things that I don't need or... Uh, mm, Basically, they try to get money out of me. Or procedures that I do not need. But, aside from that, I don't have a problem with the dentist. I just want a competent dentist. If I can find the competent dentist, they will have a, a customer for life. Very competent, not greedy, heck yeah. Just wants to fix my teeth, let's go. Takes pride in their work. Never really had that issue here, though my healthcare did have the same or most of the procedures they would check you to confirm it was needed. Oh.
My last dentist came to work in a Hawaiian shirt. He it felt weirdly casual. Oh man, I wish my dentist came to work in a Hawaiian shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> egg? Heck yeah, egg. Luckily, my dentist will not the best out there. It goes, gets straight, goes straight to the point. That's good. I need to find me a dentist. That'll be like that to me. I want one that's good. That tells me what I need. Uh, it doesn't sugarcoat it, but doesn't... Uh, doesn't try to sell me things that I don't need. And... Can actually do the job. I keep getting dentists that are... Completely incompetent. Or dentists that... Want to milk my wallet for everything it is worth. Mine's basically that. He was quick and basically said, Yeah, I just need to check this thing or routine cleaning and this thing if you want it. Yeah, good dentists are hard to find. At least for me. I don't think I'm picky, but... I don't know, maybe I am. I had a, I had a lady dentist one time that took out my... A couple of teeth. And she was very nice. And she even sang while she was doing it, like she was in a good mood. Like, it was a good time. Didn't even hurt. She did great. She even showed me the teeth she pulled out. <laughs> like, cool. It was a good time. <laughs> but she was only a temporary dentist, so I was, I was sad. I only saw her the one time. But man, if she stuck around, she she would have she would have she would have had my money. For certain. But she was the only competent dentist there. The play the that business tried to schedule my teeth extractions before they even had someone there to do them. They called me, like, the morning of, and they were like, hey... So... Can we push this? We don't have anyone to actually do the thing that we signed you up to do today. And I was just like... Bro, why? Why did you sign me up for something knowing that you didn't have someone there to do it? It was crazy. It was so crazy. And then... The original dentist that I had there... Like... It didn't really tell me much. Just was like, oh yeah, so you have this and this and this and this is what's wrong. And... Didn't really... Like, give me much information as to like why or... What, what we needed to do, or anything like that. And so I, I also didn't like that. <laughs> and so that's why I don't go there anymore. Well, that and the fact that they, they tried to tell me that I needed crowns. And then they were like, oh yeah, you might need a root canal too, we don't know. We won't know until that day, but... Uh, it's gonna be $10,000. Do you want to pay cash or card? Before we schedule it. Before we even schedule it. And I was like, ah, uh... No, thank you. They wanted the whole... $10,000. Before they'd even consider it. No... No payment plan or anything. 
Just like, bam, cash a card. What days work good for you? Just like, that's a lot of money, ma'am. I, uh, I, you just told me this today. Uh, I, my funds are not prepared for this. It's crazy, chat. It's so crazy. Yeah, let's elect to drill out a tooth without finding out if it's healthy and have you pay for it up front. What the heck? Well, I, I could sort of see their point with the the crowns um they explained that they needed the money up front because they have to make a cast or something like that so it'd be specific to my needs and if i backed out then they would be out the money that they spent getting all of that done wait we're on the wrong city chat <laughs> i just realized that um, so I could kind of understand that, but not even allowing for like a payment plan or anything is crazy. Like absolutely insane. And then a lot of insurance places make you have to be on the insurance for at least like a year, sometimes even two years. Before you can get major procedures, like crowns and stuff. So I couldn't even just pick up a, a dental insurance and been like, yeah, okay. I couldn't even do that. American healthcare is wild? It is. It is so wild. But at least I remember my way through this place, chat. So yeah, for me, it's not so much the actual getting things done part that sucks. For me, it's the political, social billing stuff. The business part that sucks. I sit back in chair, I open mouth, I go, ah! I let them do, do what they want to my teeth. But they say they want ten thousand dollar first. No, no, no. I, I cannot. I cannot pay. Frontier of the American Wild West immigrated to the healthcare space. Ugh. No longer killing you with revolver. They are now killing you with bankruptcy. Killing you with health? Yes. See, and that's the issue, chat. That's the issue. The doctors, they want money. The people that are supposed to take care of your health, they want the money. So, if they want the money, where is the... What is the point of curing you of the thing when they can help... When they can just give you things? to help the symptoms and you keep having to come back to get more symptom curing instead of just curing the actual issue. And that is what's scary. There is no incentive to doctors actually curing patients and instead uh, 
there is more incentive for doctors to rather treat the symptoms. Where do I go? Ah, we go talk to this, this little one up here. So I'm just, wait. Sorry to go inside, but be careful. Some strange looking men just went inside. All right. Welcome and welcome and good to see you! Hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh! We need to heal Mon Mon soon. I just realized how low their HP is. Still dead, but I'm doing okay. Finally got a day off of work. Nice. It's okay. You'll get back to it whenever, whenever you feel like it. He's just a little egg. Hello, T said. Welcome in as well. Hope you're having a great day. He's just a little guy. He will certainly scramble you up. That's for sure. You do not scramble the egg. The egg scrambles you. One hard show. It made a, a metal noise when he got hit. <laughs> 67, let's go. Here, here we go, level 99. Max out our little egg guy. You don't stare at the griff, the griff mixes you in every fighting game. Alright, let's see. We need to find... We need to find these guys. I assume they're up here. Mm -hmm. No, not that way. Not that way. Not this way either? Where are they? Where the heck are they? This here end game? I'm not sure. Eventually everything goes back to egg and Digimon, so maybe egg is peak form. Heck yeah. I do like the little egg. Welcome in, welcome in, good to see you! Look at you, you're small. I am small. Oh. Ah. So welcome in, welcome in, hope you're having a wonderful day. Sh Shogun Gekkoman laughing out loud, okay. Our egg is about to digivolve. Chaos wave. Or not digivolve, uh. Blast gauge. Do, 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 do. There they are. We found them, chat. Really? Will you do your job for once? We've been playing this game since we got here. Uh, that's right. This is a valid plan. Probably try to get in contact with strong players. 
You're not fooling anyone. From now on, we're going as planned. No way. I like what I'm doing. It's my free will. Freedom. Keith. Excuse me. Oh, you're that kid from... Hey, kid. You wanna fight me? Uh, no. Lisa asked me to get Keith and Nick. Oh, she did, did she? Oh, we better get going or she'll be mad. Oh, uh, wait. We don't have time to wait. Take us now. Yeah, take us to her right now. Huh? Uh, sure. Oh, thank God we don't have to run all the way back, chat. Oh, my goodness. Taking pity on us for once. All right, Nick, look for a passcode in the computer. Keith, you clean up the documents. Come on, hurry up. Bless. Yes, ma'am, roger that. See, it won't take that long now. Uh, uh, Lisa? Who are those two? Oh, they're just my friends. Are they really just friends? Don't look at me! What was, what was Kale asking? What the heck? Garbage game, what kind of lacking fetch quest game is this trying to save you time on collecting and doing things? See, the issue is we didn't save time at all because it probably... We probably could have actually cleaned the room ourselves faster than it took for us to get all the way over there to get these two guys. Hey, we're done. Lisa, we're finished. Hey, good job, you two. So, did you find a staff pass? Staff pass? You guys are useless. What are you guys doing? Sorry, I'll find it this time. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, can you wait a little longer? I'm in the Twitch chat now. Hello, hello! Hey, I found it! You know, Keith? Not Keith, uh, Kurt? Kent? Whatever his name is, the pig? Can understand what we're saying? Why didn't he just go over and grab it? Instead of making us look for it. This is very demanding. That was off the record. Here you go. Yeah, I got the staff pass. Oh, you found it? Way to go, Nick. Thank you, ma'am. Kale, Lisa, I'm off. Alright, back to Asuka City chat. Good luck, we're counting on you. Careful, okay? Oh, it was too much to think. It, it was too hopeful to think that they'd just take me back to Asuka City. Alright. We gotta run back there, chat. Oh, man. Alright. Hello, Sukamon. Oh, that was actually a tiny attack. I guess he's strong against physical attacks? Let's see how much this does. Oh, that did even less. Okay, uh, we also need to heal. Let's do that really quick.
Ba -doop. I can't wait until we get this next egg that should give us the way to hopefully use those holes. I, I assume those holes make us able to uh, fast travel. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Hey, Haguruma! He's just a little guy. I like Haguruma. He's neat. Oh, thank you, Hug. Thank you, thank you. Need to hydrate. Also, chat, did you see we're pretty close to our next follower goal? We're at 2,400 followers. 2,402 to be precise. At least that's what my dashboard's telling me. You're real close. We're almost to 2,500. Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh oh, Clockmon. Hopefully, he doesn't freeze us again. Magic missile? Oh, I'm sorry, chat. I don't know why I'm so sleepy today. I woke up at like 11 30. Ugh. Oh. Wow, didn't sleep too great. Maybe that's why. I am pretty eepy tonight. More so than usual. Honestly, honestly, sleeping is making me sleepy. Honestly, Sam, sleep sleeping makes me sleepy. Woke up at 12 too early. Oh. Woke up at 11? Yeah, I slept in really hard today. Got my butt kicked by the massage therapist yesterday. <laughs> like, real bad. It's like, oh, I'm too sore to get up. I'll get up later. <laughs> I'll do it later! <laughs> that lady had such strong hands, chat. Where is it? Where's the exit again? For the third time this stream. It was funny because I woke up at 8 o'clock. And I had trouble falling back asleep. And... So I was laying there. I was, it was around like 9, 9.30 I think. I think. I was like, I'm gonna lay here for a couple more minutes. I, I'm not really getting tired, so we'll get up. And I'll get some stuff done. And then I, like, right after I thought that, I fell asleep. And I woke up at 11.30 and I was like, oh my god, what happened? What happened? I wanna be sleeper build instead of tired all the time build? Oh, I'm both. I'm tired all the time this way, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. I sleep a lot and I'm tired all the time. I got the worst of both worlds. <laughs> I think I fell asleep last night at like... Uh, I think last time I saw the clock it said 12.30. Oh, it's a mon! Screw you at the bun! My roommate says the same about me. Wait, what? It's my pog? Unpog. Unpog. Unya. Bad. I don't like him. I don't like him, he's a jerk. I'm very biased against it, Demon. What's your favorite Digimon though? Ah, uh, Renamon ish, Taumon, Kayubimon. I like I like those. I also like Skullgreymon a lot, and uh, Megadramon. 
and Digitamaman. Red Dragon is cool too. I don't know his name though. Red Dragon? Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Uh, I'm a Vmon enjoyer. Vmon's pretty cool. I like Vmon. When in World 4? Uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, the one in World 4. I didn't play World 4. Tyrannomon? That, that is a red, red thing. He, he's a dinosaur, not a dragon. Also, welcome in Shade! Hello, hello. Hope you're having a great day. I got a random thought wondering if they had a Skull Greymon plush, but that would just be bone, so probably not. Yeah, it'd probably be really hard to make a plush out of Skull Greymon. They could probably do like a figurine of him, but probably not a plush. I mean, they probably could do a plush, but it'd be really weird because, you know, he, yeah, he is just bones. <laughs> he is mostly just bones. Looked it up. His name is Gilmon. Oh, Gilmon. Okay. There is actually, oh, a Skull Greymon figurine. It's so cool looking too. Oh, I bet. There, there are some figurines that look so good. Oh, we're stuck, chat. They made a Chinese Lego knockoff of Skull Greymon and some other adventure scenes. Oh, really? Hello, Jake! Welcome and welcome in. Good to see you! Hello, hello! I was planning to buy it, but I'm taking a break from building plastic models. Oh, I see, I see. I don't really have anything like that um, in my space. I have a whole bunch of plushies. I have a couple of like little plastic Kirby guys. Also, Wolfman Deco, good to see you as well. Hope you're both having a wonderful day. But yeah, I don't have any like figurines or anything. Nothing, nothing fancy like that. Give me the plushies, no, they're mine. I got a soot sprite plush. I got a soot sprite plushie like from Spirited Away. I have a uh, bat slime from Slime Rancher. I have a Z I have zero from The Night Before Christmas. I have a fox. I have a dog. I have a couple of teddy bears. Oh, I have another fox. I have a big old dragon. Um, I have some smaller ones like little cat plushies. They're like. They fit in my hand. They're fun to play with. I also have a Bucky! Thank you for the lurk, my god! Also, yes, if anyone wants to follow my Twitter, join my Discord, check out my YouTube, Twitch, or Throne. There are all my links in chat and the rest are on my card. More plushies? Oh, I don't know if I could do more. I hardly know what to do with the ones I do have. Been getting this weird, uh, I've also been getting this weird, very adult feeling like, man, uh, I keep, I keep buying these things that are only to look at. Why, why do I not buy things that I can use that are useful? And then I feel bad. <laughs> it's so, it's such a silly thought. Adult feelings? Yeah, ew, exactly, exactly. That's how they make me feel. They make me feel ew. These things bring me joy, but my brain says, but are they useful? And I have to say no. <laughs> and then it says, why did you get them then? And it makes me feel bad. Are they all on the bed or something? Oh no, they're like on a shelf. They're somewhere on the floor. They're just kind of scattered around. But being an adult means we have the means to buy things we don't need. Yeah. But being an adult also means that we are responsible and, uh... <laughs> like wallpaper? Like wallpaper? Like wallpaper? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, like, uh... You can look at it, but it's not very useful? Is that what you mean? Oh, heck. 
gotta find a balance between both. True, true. I think wallpaper serves a purpose. I think that it can, it, it makes your house look nice depending on the wallpaper and can make your house price increase because it looks nicer. So see, wallpaper has a use. Okay, gonna put love, love, love on my wall tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> my father had a bust of John Wayne. It's expensive and not very useful, but his favorite piece of memorabilia. Understandable. Kids also have a role to keep you from being attached to any one particular heirloom. Oh. Oof. Wait, what do you mean by that hug? Is, is it because they'll break it or... Yes? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. I wanted to double check. Um... I think there is merit to buying things just because they look cute or they look cool or whatever and don't really serve a purpose. But I don't know, my brain worms just get to me sometimes and they're just like, why did- you could have saved your money. Why did you get this? It serves no purpose other than uh, something to look at. You could have saved your money, and I'm just like, I know, but I needed the serotonin. <laughs> I needed, I needed the serotonin from opening the box and looking at the new thing. You can totally relate. Fortunately, me and my siblings uh, didn't harm the bust. All thank thankfully, though our rough housing did break a few other things. Oh my god. There, were, there was news about that where a kid destroyed their uncle's figure collection with over a hundred K. I think I heard about that and that's tragic. That's so tragic. That, that kid needs to be taught a lesson. I, I think I did hear about that. It happened like last year, right? Oh, you do have a staff pass. I apologize. Okay, I'm opening the gate. Please enter. I understand breaking one, but all of them? Yeah, kid needs to be taught a lesson. Grounded something. Oh, thanks. Ah, random hiccups. Yeah, I think the mom of the kid talked about not paying it back because it's just toys or something. Yikes. That- that would be like... What's the word? Uh... Words escaping me. Uh, 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 uh... I would... I would unfamily them. They would no longer be family. Unfamilied. Rejected. I don't think the mom has the final say what the uncle demands, exactly. Just give yourself up, you'll never win against the AOA. Alright. There's a pet peeve of mine when other people dismiss someone's collections or hobbies. Yes. And people do it so often, too. Oh, paralyzed shock. Evaded, let's go. Boop. Don't let people judge Griffin and indulge in your plushy paradise. Stupid plushies. Well, part of it is, um, I don't know, I, I also just don't really have a plan for my space and so it varies a lot, like part of me wants to put them up in like a little plushy... Oh, uh, I don't even know what they're called, like plushy net? But they go on like the ceiling kind of and they hold the plushies. I want kind of one of those 
so that way they're not just all over the place. But then I might not look at them as much, so that makes me sad. But on the other hand, it would give me more space, and then I could put more things in the room. Like a beanbag chair. I've always wanted a beanbag chair. I've never had a beanbag chair before. They seem very comfy, and I want to make like a nice little reading area. Because I've been reading a lot lately, chat. Like, I have I have read for over a hundred days in a row now, chat. Every day for the past hundred days. Actually, more than hundred now. I'm so, I'm so proud of myself. I've read like 35 books. 36 books. Yeah, 36 books. I think. Something like that. Lots of books uh, in that amount of time. I want to make like a little area for me to be comfy reading uh, so I can stop laying on my floor when I don't want to sit in my office chair. And for that I need space. Doesn't matter what you think uh, about what the other person owns, that person spent money to get them, doesn't matter what you think, exactly, yeah. Also, my mom was a librarian, so she'd be proud. Aww. Yeah, I like books. Books are nice. I used to read physical books, um, but lack of space and increased pricing uh, compared to digital ones makes me makes me uh, usually read the digital versions now but nothing nothing is better than oh 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 nothing's better than reading a good physical book very nice maybe one day I'll have a bookshelf but I want my I want my office to look really pretty, like those really aesthetic office pictures that people post with like the fairy lights and it's all pretty and and organized and there's no cords or anything. Oh my goodness, yeah. Why did my egg turn into this? What the heck is this thing, chat? Oh, I didn't I did I forgot to use his ultimate attack. Oops. Maybe next time. What came first, the egg or the egg? That's Canon Drumlon? Oh, that's... That's quite the name. It's quite the name it has there. Okay, uh... What's up here? Nothing. There's a guy. There's a guy. Down here's a guy. I need to heal first. Oh, or not. He's he's full HP. Okay. I guess the blast gauge filled his HP. Alright, because he was at like five or six hundred right before he blasted. all have the same Digimon like Team Rocket does? That's crazy. Ooh, Dumble Hit! Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, don't freeze, don't freeze, don't freeze. Oh, that- Oh! Oh, that was a big hit. That was a big hit and it froze us. That was bad. Team Rocket's favorite Digimon, Grimer. Isn't there also like Zubat and... 
there was another one too. Oh, my egg's gonna die. No! No egg! Dead egg. Heck. Uh, let me know if I say this correctly. Shira, Shira Nui? Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hello, hello. Angel woman, let's go. Can't believe my egg died, chat. You're correct, thank you. Of course! Welcome in, welcome in, good to see you! Thank you so much for the follow! Mm. Your egg got scrambled! <laughs> If I was the uncle and heard that nonsense, I'd say I guess you'd rather pay me two hundred thousand dollars then. Oh my goodness. That did you one of yours looks cool? Angel woman? Shoot icicle. We shoot icicle. Yes, she is pretty. I like cute girl. She is a uh, cute girl. I also like dark magician girl. Unsurprisingly. That's the cutest model I've seen on here. Fox in a cup. Oh, thank you so much. I'll smoke and rage. Hope you're having a great day. Really cool with the mega claws and the helmet. Heck yeah. I love a girl Crippen's got there. Unlike the angel chick. Wait, what? I'm confused now. I'm very confused now. Some joke as if your Digimon was the other one, not the humanoid one? Oh? The angel actually reminded me of Dark Magician Girl? Yeah, she just for me too, I don't know why. They don't look anything alike. Hmm. I kinda wanna go or this way. They all say the same thing in chat. I'll be honest, for the longest time I thought Dark Magician was a girl. No, there's Dark Magician and then there's Dark Magician Girl. Till of course Dark Magician Girl appeared and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, there's Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. I googled it and I don't... I don't think this game ever says what AOA stands for. Really? S really? They never do? That's crazy. I guess I just made up some... Some... Um, some initialism and was like, Alright, we're running with it. Attack on uh, Agumon? <laughs> there's one just two. I'm pretty sure there's an old... There's an old magician as well. Oh. Anti-online association. Oh. Old vindictive magician comes to mind. Oh, that's very specific. Unless you mean dark sage. Okay. 
78. Holy moly, chat, getting up there. I know those merch can't remember the names. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. The Dark Sage is Dark Magician aged up. Yeah, the clock guy! The clock guy plus uh, a dragon also makes like the really old dragon too. I remember that one. Time Wizard and Baby Dragon? Heck yeah. Rare Mon sleep. Him sleep, now we tack. Confused. He's asleep, he's confused. Wouldn't want to be this guy. Oh, he's awake. And he's serving dinner! <laughs> he's serving dinner, chat! <laughs> he woke up and served us dinner, and then he died. That was funny. <laughs> Alright, now he goes sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. You are very sleepy. Double attack, okay. Awake. Twin missile, oh my goodness. Wow. Oh hey, blocked it. And then he died. I think we're a little over leveled, chat. Just a touch. We're st the game's still catching up to us, uh, over leveling for Zambamon. <laughs> Casually blocks two missiles as an egg. As an egg. The best kind of level? Heck yeah. Alright, we're still going through all these silly guys. You think they changed the Digimon out a little bit? I love the old fusion monster designs had a charm to him. Yeah, I think so too. Ooh, Gardramon. Okay. This guy is pretty tanky. Holy moly. Ah, oh, Tankmon! I really like Tankmon shot. His his design is pretty neat, in my opinion. So, <laughs> call the best ritual monster classic. Uh, why go hungry burger? Hungry burger. I don't think I know that one. Yeah, I don't think I know that one. You go, you go. Oh yeah, I figured that. I, I, uh, I don't know. Hungry Burger. 
can load soul snatcher heck yeah i had that card yeah i don't think i've ever seen that card oh oh there's there's that and then this leads to the city i assume oh hey i got money well that's it i guess over here well it's a good thing we checked it Always need more money. Uh, yeah, let's heal. These guys are hitting us pretty hard. Okay. Lots of fights, chat. Let's see. Apparently, we're a little over halfway through the game from the, what this guide says. One down, and then another tank one to go. Let's see. Oh, we're killing this guy. Yuki, oh, hungry. Burger. Oh, wait, I do remember that guy. I do. Yeah, he looks so goofy. He looks so, so goofy. Man, chat, these guys are getting really annoying. At least they changed it up depending on the first few, but like, or compared to the first few, but man, still. Let's see, did you grow up in a big or small town? I remember collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards and there was literally no one in town uh, to play with. I I grew up in a fairly small town, I, I would say. Like, I think maybe four or 4,000 people, maybe 5,000. Definitely not more than 5,000, that's for sure. Um, I also like those ritual song cards called Burger Recipe. Oh my goodness. Uh, in... 
at school, it was definitely one of those things that was like, oh, you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Okay, it was like one of those things. But we, there were a, a few people that played. I'd say like a, a handful or so, maybe, maybe a little more. Definitely no, definitely not more than a dozen, that's for certain. At least in, in my age range. We need to heal in a minute. Shot, we're getting low again. That's so sad out a couple people in my grade that played. Yeah, that's so sad to hear. Oh. Oh no. Oh no! Chat! <laughs> my game! It's stuck! Um... <laughs> Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Well, chat, um... Um... <laughs> the game heard me talk, talk and smack about, uh, fighting these guys. Now we have to do it again! <laughs> Gosh dang it. Gosh dang darn it, chat. At least that's a pretty recent save state. Oh, I wish I saved sooner. Just came out of nowhere. It's- it's so dumb, too! We last saved right before all of these guys, and now we have to fight them all again! I think- I thought- I think we were getting to the end of them! I can't believe it! We have to fight all these stupid guys again, chat. I hate this. If we- if we were closer to stream, I would've just ended it. If we were closer to stream, I absolutely would've just ended the stream right there. I would have felt bad though with the the next half hour uh, being left off. Mm, I can't believe it. At least this time we can actually use his technique when he blasts. Dynamo Cannon! I can't believe that happened, chat. Alright. Oh my goodness. I'm so upset, chat. I'm so upset. There's no way to make this go by faster, too. I mean, I could speed it up. I could speed the game up, but it's gonna mess up the sound and chat or our uh are there other Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you guys like <laughs> since we're gonna be here for a while <laughs> with absolutely nothing fun going on 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 screen because these guys are so repetitive and awful and horrible and disgusting 
and like absolutely mind numbing to fight. I just press X. Hello, Tila. Welcome and welcome and good to see you. Oh, chat, actually. Are you doing anything for the 4th of July? That's coming up. That's coming up. You guys gonna shoot some fireworks? You guys gonna have a party? You gonna go to a party? You gonna stay in? What's in like... A little over a week? Yeah, next Thursday. How do you celebrate? Uh, usually... I don't really do anything. Or, uh... Yeah, I really- I usually don't really do anything. I'll watch the- the neighbors shoot fireworks, that's about it. Sometimes we do fireworks, but not- not too much. I'm- I'm not a huge fan of the- the loud noises. I'm gonna- I'm going to my sister's place, her dog gets super nervous with the fireworks sounds, so I'm gonna be glued to him. Aww, that's sweet. Yeah, doggos don't really don't like the loud sounds. Hello, Kevin! Welcome in, welcome in! Good to see you! How do doggos do with fireworks? Are they far away enough? Uh... I think just in general, dogs don't really like it. I, I've... The, like, it's very common hearing people say that they... Their dogs get scared by the fireworks or very... Like, they start barking. Uh, either that or they start barking. And mine don't really like them either. And that's sad. I wish the doggos could enjoy the fireworks too. For the July is my mother's birthday and anniversary. We're having a family get together with as many of my siblings as we can muster for feasts and, fu and fireworks. That sounds really fun! That sounds really fun. I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope your mother has an absolute wonderful birthday and anniversary. My grandma's birthday was on July 5th. It was the day after. So while I, uh... While I was never huge on the fireworks, it, it's always, it was always a nice, nice time this year. Getting to celebrate my grandma's birthday. That's a lot of special day overlap. It is, it is. Fireworks, yes, they are very pretty. Fireworks are very pretty. The loudness is not worth it though, yeah. That's how, that's how I feel. I used to feel differently, but as I get older, I'm just like, mm, They're pretty, but they're really loud. And as I as I get older, I'm I get more into things like fountains and sparklers than the big shooty ones. I really like me a good sparkler. Very quiet, but they're still pretty. Heck yeah, especially the ones that are like multicolored. Right, we're almost back-ish to the room that that we were in. And the sparklers, very pretty things. Heck yeah. I don't like those really cheap ones that have like the metal. They burn your hands so easily. I hate those. Grandma's serving dinner again. What the heck? What's wrong, Mopan? What's the face for? Do you like fireworks? How am I? I'm doing okay. Very sore. Very, 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 very sore. I can't wait to take some Advil and go lay in bed. <laughs> but I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm leaning towards not really, really? I'm playing Ellen Ring DLC. Oh, good luck, good luck. Heart is very hard. 
got this. Oh, 500 damage. Heck yeah. Poor Griffin's so sore. We should give her- No! 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 I am- I'm not getting another one for a long time. Like, a few months at least. You have no idea. You have no idea. That massage lady chat- That massage lady literally bruised my back. When I said she has strong hands chat, I meant it. <laughs> I have bruises on my back. She gave her all to that massage. It hurts. <laughs> what works with this thing where they shoot 500 really loud explosives that only appear for like 10 seconds? Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks. Need longer lasting fireworks for the sound. Uh, for the sound to make it worth it. Did you just put up with the rough massage just to be polite or did you think it was going to do you good? Okay, so kind of both. Um, there's drone shows now, that's, uh, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, those look pretty. I haven't seen any in person. I've only seen them in, like, in videos and stuff, but they seem pretty. That's when you just buy fountain fireworks? Exactly. Also, thank you for the lurk, Kevin! Um, Jomo, it was kind of both. Uh, I've, I've told... A, massa uh, a massage therapist before to glazed her on me and when I did that time I felt like they went too easy to the point that uh, the reason for getting the massage didn't really happen like they were going too easy and it didn't really like it felt good but it didn't really relieve my muscles that much so this time I was just kind of like alright I just need to grin and bear it and and not be a baby and it'll make my back feel better and i might have overcorrected a bit <laughs> i might have overcorrected just a little bit <laughs> and uh i just gotten way too hard of a massage <laughs> i eventually told her hey can can you go easier but like at, at that point at that point, what was done was done. And to make it worse, chat, to make it worse, is we went out to lunch afterwards and I decided to wear an open back dress. And Hiro told me <laughs> about uh, what uh, about how my back looked. I was like, oh my god, really? Oh my god, what the heck? Like, oh my god. It was, uh, we were very lucky no one, like, called the police or anything. <laughs> the, the, now that I think about it. <laughs> so I'm sure someone noticed. <laughs> I, I wasn't really planning on, on that happening though, so. I just wanted to look pretty. Alright, let's heal. But yeah, chat, if you ever go get a massage and they're rubbing too hard, tell them. Tell them to go softer. It's not worth it. I just want to go lay in, like, Antarctica right now. Flat on my back. Just ice, full on. Maybe, like, a sheet in between me and the ice, so that way the ice doesn't, like, stick to me. But, like, yeah, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> We're almost back, chat. We're almost back. Don't want to be paranoid, do you think it'll freeze in the same spot? I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna save really quick though. 
after we get this present. I thought it froze right there for a second. I was like, oh my god, are you serious? Alright, save. Thank god for quick saves. Alright, now if it freezes again, we at least have right there. Oh, we're almost there, chat. We're almost back. And then we'll, we'll see if it freezes. I don't think it'll freeze. I think it was a one-time thing, though. I think maybe I accidentally... I think I accidentally, uh... Snagged a bug. Because I was pressing X too fast for it. And it, like, threw a loop or something. I don't know. Because it was, like, half... But it, like, in the middle of an animation of showing Digitama leveling up. But also... Uh, uh, trying to close the menu and it didn't know what to do so it just got stuck there. I don't know. But I'm gonna be ca more careful pressing the X button after these couple fights. And these guys hit really hard sometimes, chat. Mm. Alright, save again. <laughs> just to be careful so I don't have to do anything again. Like I just did. Cause that would that would be horrible. Having to redo this a third time. Okay. Alright, will it crash? Will it... Uh, not crash. Will it freeze again? Hopefully not. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just like a, a one-time bug that I, I, it was my fault. <laughs> I think it was my fault. I think I was pressing X too fast. But we'll see, we'll see. It would suck to find out that we, it just freezes here.
Of course, thank most. You see how high over that mon wanted shot? Yeah. Alright, saving. Oh, accidentally full screened. Cool, whatever happened last time? Yeah, I, I made sure to not even touch the X button when that game ended. Sorry, shit, I was writing something. Oh, we got another one shot. We might have to actually fight this boss next week with how many how many goons she has around. It's crazy. Didn't think I'd have to fight like 30 NPCs just to get to the boss. even change did you want soon? I hope us almost dying to some of these enemies doesn't say, say anything about how hard this boss is. I don't want to grind again, chat. <laughs> I don't want to grind again. We're only halfway through the game, too. You know how... You know how in Pokemon games, you can get to like level 50 and beat the Elite Four? I wonder what that is for this. I wonder what a good level is for beating this game. Because I assume, I assume we don't have to get them to level 99. Tankmon laughing out loud, okay. One guy we have to redo. Okay, babe. <laughs> oh, we got comfortable chat. Game was like, hee hee, I'm gonna freeze on the next enemy this time. But the pink one was laughing at. He laughed at me right before he died because he knew. He knew. It's crazy. That's so crazy, chat.
All right, chat. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. The game's just like, hey, stop. Go away. Stop playing me. End stream already. We're gonna keep you hostage here. Oh, they might kill my, my Mon Mon. My Digitama. Oh, or not. Okay. Alright, I'm not touching the button. Click. 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 Ah! Okay, I'm ending stream. I'll figure it out. Hopefully. That's so weird. I'm gonna restart my computer tomorrow and then I'm gonna try to fight him again and I'm gonna update the thing and uh, fingers crossed. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> I give up though. I give up. I I can't do it tonight. <laughs> Let's see. Who should we go raid, chat? Let's see. Who do we got streaming? We got Church playing Street Fighter. We got Ishii playing Undertale. What the heck? Let's see. Do do do. Do 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 do. Uh. You know what? Let's go see Ishi. I miss Ishi. All right, chat. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It was fun. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Tranquil. Thank you, thank you. Here are all my socials in case. Uh oh, Jake. Thank you so much. In case you want to follow my Twitter, join my Discord, check out my YouTube, Twitch, or Throne, they're all my links in chat. Oh, thank you for the head pads! Thank, thank you, and the rest are on my card. Um, yeah. I, I'll see you guys Thursday with some more Dark Cloud. I'll figure out probably tomorrow whether or not I saved my game last week. <laughs> and uh, get back to where we were if I didn't. So big you can see the toe beans. Oh heck yeah, look at those toe beans. <laughs> Please thank you all so much for hanging out. And yes, there's my raid message. Let's go say hi to Ishii. If you don't have my emails, feel free to use ones that you do have access to. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a wonderful week chat. Goodbye, goodbye. Make sure you drink plenty of water for those of you that are uh, especially in the hot weather. Alright, goodbye chat. Good night, good night.